When screening movement, you've got to look at multiple patterns so you can start putting the puzzle together. You can't just look at one or two, you've got to look at quite a few. Here's a good example of that. There's a few different ways we can check hip mobility in how we screen movement. Whether you do a self-screen that we can do through Simeo, whether you do a professional or proctored screen like the functional movement screen or our selective functional movement assessment, or now with even video capture screening movement. You gotta look at multiple ways because the different posture and pattern that you're in actually will dictate how you move because movement occurs here. It's neuromuscular. So for example, I can squat without much of a problem. However, when you ask me to touch my toes, I'm somewhat limited. If I get down and do a leg raise, you see I can be somewhat limited. But by looking at all three of those different patterns, squatting, touching my toes, doing a leg raise, they all require not only mobility in my hips and my posterior chain, but also a little underlying neuromuscular control. But what can I rule out when I look at the squat pattern like this? I can rule out that I've got significant limitations in hip mobility. So what does that tell me about my toe touch? It tells me that my toe touch is much more a motor control problem, which means when I try to bend over, my hamstrings, my posterior chain is actually acting like a parking brake. It's actually trying to turn on when they should be a little bit more relaxed. My lumbopelvic area, so when I get down and do a leg raise, I should control my spine and my pelvis so that my hip flexors can engage. So this movement, my leg raise, believe it or not, seeing it somewhat limited, and my toe touch all require somewhat of the same type of neuromuscular control and patterning. If I'm gonna to touch my toes, the first thing I should do, control my spine, control my pelvis, so I can hinge at my hips prior to flexing my spine and you notice when I sit back my toe touch gets a lot better but if I just stand here and say I'm going to touch my toes I don't use the right pattern I bend over first and I get locked up that's what we see then you get those hamstrings that start turning on acting like a parking brake so movement is much more behavioral it's much more motor control neuromuscular we've got to have mobility we've got to have motor control we've got to have both but me right now noticing how great my squat is I know my ankles aren't that problematic, know my knees move pretty well, know my hips move pretty well, but when I try to use this strategy, it's a little bit more problem for me, which means I need to focus more on my neuromuscle control, motor control in those patterns to get that strategy improved a little bit here, which means I'm not worried about mobility.